Welcome to North Carolina Weekend. I'm Deborah Holt Noel. Tucked away in the Balsam Mountains near Waynesville, the former Balsam Mountain Springs Hotel provided rooms for people taking the popular tourist trains of the era. Well, the trains are long gone, but producer Derek Long found out that the renovated inn is as popular as ever. The highest train depot east of the Rockies was once here in the Jackson County community of Balsam. The depot's gone, but people came on as many as six trains a day. Southern Railway had in their brochure, when you're coming to the mountains, come all the way up, come to Balsam. And they did. And the inn built to accommodate those travelers still remains. And it was built between 1905 and 1906, and it was built from lumber that was milled right here on the property. So the, all the stud walls are made out of chestnut, and all of the um, interior walls are made out of poplar and the floors are heart pine, and uh, the sills are hemlocks. The inn is a neoclassical structure, and it was built uh, with some sophistication. The architects obviously knew about Renaissance orders. The columns in front, they look like they're evenly spaced, but in fact, they're not. They get closer together the further they get from the center, and again, that's, those are classical architectural rules that um, make fool the eye into thinking it's wonderful. And it is pretty wonderful. It's an old wooden building that's been preserved for over 100 years and um, still pretty much in the proportions that it had when it was built. Like the extra wide hallways built to accommodate traveler steamer trunks, now afford space to display works by local artists. There have been some upgrades over the years like electricity and indoor plumbing. Every single room is different from every other room. Everyone's a different color, everyone has different sheet patterns. It's, they're all totally different. So guests that come here, sooner or later they get a favorite and they'll call and say, is my room available this weekend? They sort of get very possessive about them. We are open year round, every day, 365 days of the year. And our restaurant's open for breakfast and dinner every day of the year. We're open on Sunday for lunch. <laughs> We also have our music nights once or twice a month, and they are um, songwriters generally, sometimes virtuoso musicians, and sometimes a little of both. We determine the number of people that are coming and rearrange the tables every single time differently to accommodate exactly the size table that people would like and to accommodate the songwriter's desire to be surrounded by people. And it's so fun playing in this room. It just sounds great in this room and it's just cozy and intimate and, and everybody is in a good mood because they just ate some really good food. And uh, it's, it's fun. The people who come here like to get away from pretty much everything. And so although we're not remote geographically, it seems remote because you're off of the main highway and it's quiet and it's surrounded by 24 acres of woods and mountain views. So people love to come and sit on the porch, rock, read a book, have a glass of wine. They also love to work puzzles and play chess and checkers and all sorts of other kinds of games. But there are no TVs or telephones or anything like that here. Um, mostly interesting people with interesting ideas are who come here. And of course, there are the ghosts. I've not ever seen one, but we have a lot of reports of one in one particular suite that gives good back rubs and we've heard several reports of this particular ghost. There have been multiple reports of a little girl laughing on the third floor. Seven different rooms reported hearing it in one night and there was no little girl on premise at all. So that's kind of fun. But she was laughing. They're all benevolent. <laughs> There's a lady in blue that wanders around. So um, we just take it with a grain of salt. We've never had anything except smiles when they're talking about it. So. I think we've got some friendly ghosts. And why not? The inn just feels like a magical place, seemingly frozen in time. It's a beautiful, very rustic place, and, and the charm hasn't been taken out of it. It's been preserved. Balsam Mountain Inn has a rocking chair, like, <laughs> around every corner. So whether it's the hallway or the porch with the views or in the common areas, there's, it encourages you to just sit down and relax and slow down. I think that's what makes it special. And the next time you're coming up to the mountains, do something special. Come all the way up 
to the Balsa Mountain Inn. This is Derek Long for North Carolina Weekend. The Balsam Mountain Inn is located off US 7423 near Waynesville and a half a mile off the Blue Ridge Parkway at milepost 443 in the community of Balsam. For reservations, directions, and event information, call 800-224-9498 or go online to balsammountainin.net.